Farm Hands, Farm Burry here. How's everybody doing? So on today's episode, we're gonna do a recap on uh, what salt I run here in the lab. I've been having a lot of farm hands been leaving comments asking me what salt you're running. Well, I run D&D H2 Ocean Salt. I run that on my lab. I used to run it on my 220 gallon tank. Plus the Phoenix is gonna be running on D&D H2 Ocean Salt. That's a great salt, guys. Been having a lot of great success, a lot of great coral growth, coralline algae. It's been awesome. Uh, this D&D salt here is a solar evaporation process, the natural uh, base sea salt. That's great. And the one thing about this salt as well, they add that extra magnesium and calcium. Your corals and uh, coralline algae really suck that up and then you don't have to dose as much either so it's a great high quality salt a lot of great uh, high quality products in there and that's what it's all about um, there's all different kinds of salt on the market um, there's all different kinds of levels and uh, grades of salt um, sometimes when you, you say you buy a bucket like a cheaper bucket you don't know what kind of kind of quality uh, elements that they're putting in there magnesium everything that's how it's put together right it's like a it's like baking a cake you need all the the right uh, recipe so it's like with this one here, with the magnesium and calcium, you don't have the doses often, and then that means you're saving money as well. Um, say you have a container, oh, I got magnesium, this is $20, I need uh, calcium, another $20, so you're $40 up. That's why if you just buy a high quality salt, pay the money, you don't have to buy all these extra processes for a dose in your tank. So you'll save money in your pocket, and your corals are gonna love it. So it's been going really well. You guys can see the corals have been really taking off. Lots of great coralline algae. Everything looks really healthy. Um, these, like all the parameters in this one as well, when you mix it up, it mixes clear. It doesn't take very long uh, to mix. And every time I like, I'll test uh, magnesium, you know, pH, everything out of the bucket, as soon as I mix it, everything's always bang on and it's very consistent. That's with uh, D&D as well, H the Ocean. Um, they have a guarantee what's in the bucket is what you're gonna get. Like anything, this, this bucket here, it's been, you know, transported. What's always good to do is just, uh, you know, take your salt, open it up, mix it around, because a lot of elements are uh, heavier in the salt, and then they, they just go to the bottom. So you just wanna whip that up like you're baking a cake so everything is perfectly mixed up and you're good to go. So it's very easy to mix this salt, and that's what I like. There's no residue, everything is clear, and all the parameters are right on. As you guys can tell, the tanks are looking great, and I can't wait to be running uh, this salt on my uh, 700 as well. It's gonna be dominated uh, SPS. Can't wait to show you guys. So it's just a little update because everyone's been asking. D&D has always been my choice of salt. I've been running it for a few years on my uh, 220 gallon tank and it was great as you guys can see from my previous videos. And it's gonna be awesome running on the 700. Can't wait to check that out. So I'll just so that you guys can see it, I'll put it up a little video. You guys can see how the tank's doing. It's doing really well. D&D Ocean Salt, it's great. They have a great customer service as well. If you log on the internet and check out their website, they'll definitely help you out or ask any questions you wanna know. Um, I like this, it's a good quality salt and that's what I'm looking for here when I'm running on my tanks. When it comes to all the chemistry of the water is the most important when you wanna look for your coral's health and that's what matters to me. And I like that I don't have to dose as much. I don't run any dosing pumps on this tank at all. I just run, do my water changes. And if I do dose and say my water is perfect and I'm lacking a little bit after you know a few weeks, I'll end up, uh, I'll just dose with, uh, I'll just dose with Polyp Lab 1 just to bring up those parameters a little bit. Because a lot of time my uh, nitrates, phosphates, everything's running perfect, but, and I don't really want it to end up uh, doing another water change if things are just lowered a little bit. You just need a couple capfuls of that into your tank and you're good to go and that's all I dose and water changes and it's perfect and everything's doing great. So whatever salt you guys work, it's working for you. It's like I say, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But this is my choice of salt. So hopefully you guys uh, learned a little information on uh, D&D and this is what I run on the lab guys. So if there's any other questions that you wanna know what I use down here, or any settings at all, just hit me up and leave it uh, in the comments below and uh, I'll try to make a video for you guys. So you guys can please subscribe and hit the like button.